Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World Review, and today we're going to replace the screen on the Samsung S10 Plus. So the tools that we will need are going to be a PH000 bit, a dental pick or something like shown, a razor blade of some sort, a playing card for cutting the adhesive, a prying tool of some sort, another pry tool like shown, some adhesive, and some heat. I would also recommend glue for the back of the phone, as well as some clamps. So what we're going to do is grab the heat gun and start heating up the back. And then what we want to do is get enough heat so we can lift up the back just a little bit with the razor blade and get a card in there so we can cut through the adhesive. You can kind of feel the resistance and once it gets really difficult to cut through, you want to add some more heat. Make sure not to add too much heat because you could cause some damage. But what you want to do is heat up the bottom and then heat up the sides. And then lastly, you want to heat up the top. And what I recommend is starting at the bottom and then cutting through the sides. And then once you get to the top, kind of add some heat and pry a little bit. You don't want to bend the back glass too much or else it could break. So be very careful with this. In this situation, I added too much heat. That's why the paint looks like that. So make sure not to do the same thing as I did. This is another reason why I'm being very careful with the top. Because normally I would just heat up the top and kind of lift it up like this. Sometimes the adhesive could be really difficult like this, so make sure to be very careful and take your time when doing this. There's no need to rush. Then once the back is off, you can remove the adhesive, but for now, I'm just going to leave it on there and remove it later. Sometimes I get carried away and remove the adhesive, but let's continue on. So compare the screen that you have with mine, and pretty much what this has is this has a bunch of stuff in it, so there's some stuff that I don't have to move. But either way, let's get to those parts by removing these screws. So what you want to do is grab your PH000 bit and remove these 16 screws. They don't go in any particular order, but make sure to put them in order just in case, just so you get used to it. Then what we want to do is get a plastic pry tool, don't use metal like I did, and pry up around this area to lift up this top portion. With that top portion up, the bottom should lift up just a little bit, so you can just grab that and lift it off. Next what we want to do is use the pick to unplug the battery, not with your fingers like I did, unless you're a professional like I am. And around this time, I realized I probably shouldn't be using metal to unplug the LCD, so I grabbed a plastic pick to lift that up, as you should. And now we unplug the headset jack as well. Then we want to unplug the camera and lift that out, because we are going to be moving that onto the new phone. Then what we want to do is grab the PH000 bit, grab these two screws on the bottom, and grab this one screw at the top. Make sure you know where those screws go. And with that dental pick or SIM card ejector, let's eject the SIM card before we forget it. And then we can either use that or a plastic pry tool to lift up the board starting at the top where I started. And then what you want to do is guide the logic board out, making sure not to damage any of those cables. It'll lift up from the top and then you kind of have to wiggle it out from the bottom. Next what you want to do is take out the headset jack, which may be a little bit difficult, but what I recommend is just using like a little pry tool right here, and it should just fly out. Make sure you remember where it goes. Then all you want to do is put it into the new frame and kind of shove it down in there. You'll kind of feel it click in. Then the next thing we want to do is remove the vibrating mechanism. In the new screen that I have, it already has it, but just in case, you want to lift it up in this area, making sure not to damage the actual metal piece. Like I said, I already have it in the new screen, so I'm just going to put it back. Same thing with the earpiece. I recommend starting up here and kind of lifting it up and making sure not to separate that earpiece. But again, I already have it in the new screen, so I'm just going to set it back in here. Now, if your replacement part doesn't come with power buttons or volume buttons, that sucks because I'm not going to show you how to do that. Also, I'd recommend returning that and buying one that already has those buttons. And let's just go over, I already have all the pieces moved over to the new screen, so now we can remove the battery. Now, what I recommend is using this kind of pry tool, but make sure not to puncture the battery. It's something you don't want to do. So there's going to be two sides. One side, there's going to be a little bit of a gap where you can put the pry tool in, and the other side, it's not going to have a gap. So I recommend starting at the gap and kind of prying how I am, just enough so you can actually lift up the battery. Then what you want to do is get a plastic pry tool and start cutting through the adhesive with the pry tool, not the metal pry tool. It's a lot harder to poke through the battery with a plastic pry tool than it is with a metal pry tool. Then once you have one side lifted up, the other side should kind of just lift up when you add pressure, and then you can just remove the battery. If your adhesive is pretty bad, you might want to use some more adhesive. But now let's move on to the new screen. We can remove this little cover right here, and we can put the front camera in. I found this to be more difficult by doing this first rather than putting in the logic board first, but you can do it how you want. Next, what we want to do is put in the logic board starting with the charging port first, 
And then what you want to do is put in the bottom two screws and then put in the side screw up here. Then we can set the battery in place. Remember to add more adhesive if needed. I'm using the regular adhesive because it held up pretty well. Then what you want to do is actually plug it in to make sure that it's lined up properly. And since that's the last step, we can just put in the plastic piece. Start at the bottom and then put in all the screws. If it's difficult to put in the screws, you just didn't line it up properly. So lift up that piece and put it back in the phone and make sure that it's lined up properly so then all the screws go in easily. Once you get all the screws in, we can power it on and test to make sure everything's good. So the phone powers on, touchscreen works, so let's put the back on. So what we're going to do is grab some adhesive and apply to where the blue part is. In my situation, I just left the original adhesive on there because it was still pretty sticky and flat, and then I used some glue to kind of seal it up. Next, you want to add some glue pretty much to the blue area that you see here. And then just add a little bit on the inside. Make sure not to get too close to the cameras because it could spread and get into the cameras. Now since I'm reusing the adhesive, I'm going to add some heat to the adhesive to kind of loosen it up. And then I'm going to set the back down, push down on all the sides, and we should be all good. If there's any adhesive leaking, make sure to clean that up, but then you're good to go. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or on Twitter at MattOfRDBR, and feel free to follow me on the social media listed above. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this, as well as other repair and review videos. And hit that bell button so then YouTube actually reminds you when those videos do come out. Thanks for watching.